Happy Mail Queen. Today I have uh, another project share. I know I said I was going to do a haul video, but um, I'll do that after this video. I'm just so excited. I want to share with you guys what I created yesterday. So I was crafting yesterday and you guys know I've been obsessed with Frank Garcia Studios, a new release, uh, which is just like magic. And so I've been creating, you know, with the paper collection. So anyway, I made some, let's see, this is three, is it three and a half by three and a half? Oh my gosh, three and a half by four inch shaker envelopes. <laughs> so let me go ahead and share what I made. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> and excuse my nails, you guys. Um, they, the the gel started peeling off, and so there I was yesterday just peeling the rest of it off, and it came up pretty easily though. So I'm really happy with that. But I haven't done my nails yet, so excuse the ugly nails. But anyway, isn't this super cute? So I made little envelopes using my mini punch board. This one right here. And I don't remember who I saw create like the little shakers um, just, you know, to put on the back or the, I would say the inner lining of the envelope. Um, I can't remember if it was with La Brie or I don't know. I can't remember, but um I know people have been, you know, making shakers, you know, their version and um, I mean, shaker envelopes, that is. And then they're just stuffing it with all kinds of stuff. So I haven't stuffed this one yet. In fact, um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to make. I was going to make some rosettes, but then I'm thinking it's going to be thick. Um, kind of wanted to kind of just, oh, I forgot to put a little charm here. I kind of didn't want to um, uh, make um, thick embellishments, but, or I wanted to make thick embellishments. I'm sorry, I can't even talk. So I don't know. Let me know, you guys, if you have any ideas on what I can put inside these cutie, cutie patootie envelopes. Okay, so like I said, this is three and a half by four inches, or actually, this is three and a half by four inches. And then um, I showed you guys the little uh, cluster embellishments that I made on my last video. So that's what I did here. So this was pretty easy to make. Um, all I did was put uh, acetate on top. And I, my acetate only goes about up to halfway of the envelope. Um, and then I just sewed it shut after I put the sequins. Then I just put an eyelet and... Um, and I made some tangles. So these are super cute. I love um, using my pom-poms right now. And um, I just used some of those beads from, uh, from Dollar Tree. And remember the, this tassel that I had, it was perfect. Oh my gosh, it like, <laughs> it was just the right colors, like match perfectly with this collection. So um, I wanted to put um, silver accents instead of gold, and so that's why all the hardware is silver. Um, I found these recently, and um, I don't even remember where I got these puffy stars, but um, I, I found some gold and some silver. Um, they're like really puffy. I love these. Uh, like I said, I can't remember where I got them, but I found them and I thought, oh, perfect. I'm going to put it here. So, um, yeah, so I just filled it up with different sequence mix and I used my larger um, and smaller sequence there. I love the colors. And then the back just looks like that. And so as you can see, this is my stitching. That's how I stitched the inner, lay, uh, in, inner liner. So there's one. Really cute. And... Here's the other one. Now for this one, I absolutely love it. So what happened was I must have been making like, it must have been from one of my unicorn projects. And I had these pre-die, you know, I die cut them a while ago. 
and then I found a tray of I guess um leftover embellishments that I had and um yeah so that's that's how I found the silver um puffies puffy stars and then I found the sticker which I had die cut using um uh, one of the I don't know I don't remember which die this came from um but I think it's one of those dice from Michael's and anyway had a shooting star um, so anyway, I just put it right on top of the acetate, so it's not gonna impede, uh, you know, whatever I put in there. So even if I put a, I don't know, I might put a tag, but then these are tags already right here that I kind of layered. So we'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So anyway, um, since these are tags, I did put some eyelets on them and these are some new eyelets that I picked up recently and they're, um, I, I just love the color and that's why they're flower eyelets and um or I should say more like a scallop flower I don't know anyway it's in mint I love that color and then this is a different shade of mint but I do prefer this one um and then I just added some charms and again I just made another little tassel using my Dollar Tree beads and I used those stars again which I absolutely love using and um, just put a different shaker mix in this one. As you can see, I used a lot of the Alina Craft uh, mix in there, the little floral mixes and that came in pink. It came in pink, white, iridescent, and green. So that's where my, I had to put a little bit of green in here, pops of green. So I love it and I can definitely put something in there. As you can see, it's not closed. So love these. I'm going to try making the little envelopes too. Um, I also saw with Love Brie, she made these. They're kind of like stacked little itty bitty tiny envelopes. And they're stuffed. They're, it's really cute. But they're I guess they're like embellishments. And here's my next one. I love the way this one came out too. And again, I think, I'm not sure what uh, die I was using here too. But um I had pre-cut these and these I love this paper it's actually this one right here which is super super pretty and it's a sticker so um love that hi buddy oh my dog <laughs> um and again I just use different sequence mix on this one and I have the princess here and love this little castle oh my gosh i love that castle it's like so beautiful and i love the marble love this paper collection oh my gosh i can't wait to get more of it if ever i get to frank garcia studio um and then i just again added some charms and then i just made one more after that and this one has more of some purple hues to it not just purple hues but lots of purple sequins and um the purple sequence is the queen and company one that i've been using lately and then i just used the ephemera from the paper collection that i fussy cut added some stickles oh that's the only th new thing i did was I, I did add some stickles i think originally when i showed you guys i didn't put stickles on them and then i added the star and then again another charm super cute so yeah those are my little cute envelopes and i don't know yet i might incorporate this in a mini album but sometimes i just like to make a bunch of i don't know embellishments or you know and then and then I'll use it on a mini if I decide to do another mini. But I'm loving this collection. I love the colors and I'm just having fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed what I created today and I hope you were inspired. Please leave me a comment and thank you so much for all your lovely, lovely comments. I so appreciate it. And seriously, if it, if it wasn't for all of you out there <laughs> on YouTube, our little YouTube family here, I'd be going bananas here at home because 
this is what like two two and a half months already that I've been home like seriously just been home okay I hardly ever go anywhere I don't go anywhere actually I think maybe the last time I went out was Mother's Day <laughs> so yeah yeah so okay guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye